What wedding traditions do gypsies have? And how do newlyweds spend their wedding night? Greetings! Today, we are going to talk about weddings and the first wedding night of the Roma. Is it true that brides are given in marriage at a fairly young age and after the age of 19, they are considered old? How a girl's virginity is checked on her first wedding night? And for what reason after the wedding celebration, the bride changes the white dress to a red one? Be sure to watch the video to the very end. It will be very interesting and informative. Marriages at a young age. If you have ever heard that the gypsies give the bride in marriage quite early, it is indeed true. Marriage unions at a young age for such peoples have been practiced for many years. But what is the hurry and why does it happen this way? Let us understand in order. First of all, the age when a bride is given in marriage is from 15 to 18 years old. Of course, there are cases when very young girls were married at the age of 10, 12, such an age is chosen for a reason. Parents simply wish to free themselves from certain material obligations. And what can be done in this case? Correctly, to teach the future generation to live independently. Secondly, it is extremely important for the Roma that the bride keep her virginity before the wedding and that the groom is not addicted to alcohol abuse and other bad habits. Roma believe that it is marriage that can tame young people to family commitments and values. Otherwise, boys and girls will simply not find their place in life. Thirdly, the tradition of early marriage dates back to the past. At that time, as we know, the Roma were nomads, and the quality of medicine and living conditions left much to be desired. In order to protect the future generation from all sorts of ailments and to give all the essentials, marriage unions were concluded quite early. An interesting fact. If in today's conditions, a girl still failed to marry before the age of 19, in the following years she is considered old and therefore not needed by anyone. That is why it is very important for Roma not to miss this moment. Preparation for the wedding celebration. We draw your attention to the fact that gypsies prepare for the upcoming wedding in advance. Gypsy people do not spare money for treats, which are then served on the wedding table. It is extremely important to diversify the menu so that in the end, everyone is satisfied. On the table must necessarily be present hot dishes, appetizers, and of course, alcoholic beverages. Only get drunk is contraindicated because the abuse of hot drinks is tantamount to disgrace in the Romani people. Plus, the parents of the newlyweds try to cook themselves and bring something to the feast. Mostly, it is salads and pastries. If suddenly you thought that there are not so many guests at the wedding ceremony, we assure you. They are so many that the number of invitees is sometimes up to 300 people. Guests come from everywhere and it is extremely important to provide them with overnight accommodation. And all because a Roma wedding lasts up to three days. It goes without saying that suitable rooms are booked in advance, outfits for the newlyweds are selected, and there is also the preparation of interesting programs for all present. And another very important point, all expenses are borne by the groom's relatives whereas the bride's parents are responsible for the dowry. The sums are quite impressive, so this issue is decided long before the wedding ceremony. Someone begins to slowly save money, someone asks relatives and friends, and someone takes money on credit, shortly before the first wedding night arrives. Before the bride and groom have to be alone together, the real party begins, except that everyone is having fun except the bride. Traditionally, the girl sits at the table and cries. The latter will have to part with relatives and henceforth obey the future spouse. That's all the explanation for such a sad female image of the gypsy people. Perhaps you once noticed that guests and newlyweds never sit at the same table. This is also true. A separate table is provided for the young people and another for those present. The Russian and Romani peoples have one similarity when conducting wedding ceremonies. The newlyweds are obliged to kiss an icon from the hands of their parents. After that, the bride and groom taste the brought caravai. The well-known word bitter and dancing with everyone in a row are not even foreseen by the Roma. 
male and female parts are distributed on different sides of the hall and touching each other is also not allowed. Roma also do not go to the registry office since divorce is not provided for in the families of this people. Orthodox Roma, as it should be, are married in church, the first wedding night. And here it is, the most important moment on which the fate of the newlyweds depends, the first wedding night. It is customary for gypsies that it should take place not after the end of the holiday, but in the midst of it. For this purpose, the bride and groom temporarily leave the relatives and gathered guests. They seclude themselves in a separate room. As soon as everything is successful, you can officially declare, now it is a real husband and wife. But how to realize that the marriage was successful and now young people have crossed the threshold of adult independent life? As you remember, we talked about the fact that the bride before entering into a marriage union must preserve her innocence. That is why it is necessary to make sure that the girl is a virgin. For this purpose, the Roma have two generally accepted ways of verification. Method No. 1 Young people, accompanied by matchmakers, two, three women, go into the room. The matchmakers do not go inside, but wait outside the door. Intimate intimacy of the bride and groom begins. As soon as the process comes to an end, the women take away the sheet with the girl's blood. This sheet is then shown to everyone in the room, so people are once and for all convinced of the innocence of the newlywed. Method No. 2 The next method is quite specific and difficult in psychological terms for the bride. The newlyweds still with two, three in-laws leave the hall. Only this time they change places. The groom remains outside the doors and the bride and her women go into the room. This time the girl is taken of her virginity by her own hand. One of the women wraps a sheet around her hand and strips the bride of her innocence. Unfortunately, sanitary and hygienic conditions are not observed here and the girl can easily get a psychological trauma. After performing such a rite, the result is demonstrated to the relatives. Results. It is worth noting that if there is no blood and the bride has already once entered into intimate intimacy, then there is an expulsion of the latter together with her relatives. In this case, the marriage is considered invalid. The probability that the failed bride will be able to find another groom is extremely small. If the girl proved to those present her chastity, then the wedding banquet continues. The celebration acquires completely different shades and significance. The bride changes from a white dress to a red one. This means that she is no longer a young girl, but a real woman. From now on, newlyweds are considered full-fledged relatives who are obliged to divide property in half as well as bring up children. A procedure called fraternization takes place when incisions are made on the hands of the newlyweds, blood joining together. The gypsy wedding ends with the fact that the spouses are given money, gifts and precious jewellery. The newlyweds without strangers begin to seclude themselves. So passes already a real wedding night. Conclusion. Thus, the Roma are characterized by wedding traditions that go against other nationalities. Their marriage occupies a key place in the lives of future spouses. Hence, such close attention and careful preparation for the celebration.